Well, we're here in Vancouver, British Columbia, in beautiful cherry blossom season. And we're here to review the Master Pro. Biggest battery on the market. Uh, what the heck are you doing, man? Oh, it's cherry blossom <laughs> season. <laughs> I'm getting some cute pics for the ground, bro. I think it's time for a stair test. Let's do a stair test. How do you feel about that? <laughs> feel good. All right, Master Pro V2 stair test. I think I found the perfect set of stairs to carry up particularly. Stair oh. test, I don't think so. Let's go find the bigger set, man. Come on, you can do better than that. Let's go. Uh, oh, oh, not bad. Not bad. Getting a little bottoming out at the bottom, but we just add a little more air. It won't be too bad at all. I wonder how it's going to be going up though. Good Lord. Not excited for carrying this heavy wheel up the stairs. Oh my God, dude. Oh. There's no way, there's no way, man. I gotta, I gotta try, I gotta try the old run and run and smash. Oh, I'm feeling initial thoughts. This is, oh baby. Oh, oh, that's the way, that's easy. It don't fit. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty shooketh. I thought this thing was gonna be a terrifying nightmare to go through the goose test. It's like it's on rails. I think it's been too long since we did the V13. I forgot how stable and planted they feel, but not as fast as like the EX30. The data will be somewhere here. I don't have it live, so it's post-production, but I'm impressed. I'm, I'm quite impressed. Where, where to next? Will we brake test workshop? What are we doing? Whatever, outro. <laughs> Hello, we're here with the Master Pro, the lab scene. Let's do it. Lab scene, like it's a, okay. <laughs> it looks like it's a, you know. Let's get right into it. This thing is the heaviest wheel on the market at 118 pounds. Good reason for it though, because oh. it has a massive 4,800 watt hour battery, 134 volt battery at that using Samsung 50E cells. Mm. And it's gonna get you a lot of mileage and it actually allows the motor which is 4,500 watts, insane motor, Yep. to reach speeds of over 85, 90 kilometers an hour. I'm not gonna test it, but you'll be able to go over 90 kilometers an hour on this thing, if you're an idiot. <laughs> Stupido, I'll do um, that. The suspension, 80 millimeters of travel, eh, is not the best, but it's enough. It's better than no suspension. You're not an idiot, Don, I love you. And uh, <laughs> one thing mentioned about the battery, there is no smart BMS, so, you know, there's that. But the Goad said they're going to start putting smart BMSs in their products in about a year. I believe it when I see it. You took the words right out of my mouth. Bagoda. Um, let's see what else am I missing here. Oh, this thing. It's supposed to be 10,000 lumens. <laughs> we'll see about that in the mm. light test. But this, does that look like it's going to... Looks like 10,000 no. floppins if sorry. you ask me. One last thing. It's a 17-inch rim, which gives it a 22-inch tire. Solid Navi off-road tire. It does mm. the trick. Two 22s um, in my shoes. And it's a C38 motor, I forgot to mention. So that's the lab scene. Oh, new metal boxes. And if you want more juicy details on the differences between this and the V1, or just the general ins and outs of the Master Pro, click the link. Do you miss it this side? Or is it this side? <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Transition. And we're back. Coffee cradler. You know the drill couple iterations we need to make. Of course, everybody agreed unanimously in the video last that this is the most scientifically accurate way to test the effectiveness of suspension on any electric unicycle. That's been agreed upon. I'm sure you guys will agree in the comments. Furthermore, one thing needs to be adjusted though. We just got a, there wasn't enough coffee in the face situation, too much on the floor and on the wheel. So we're just going to use the built-in technology that I've created with our coffee cradler here and just Bend that in a little bit more towards my uh, towards my mug, and uh, yeah, take this wheel that's not really probably gonna do very well on these wretched, wretched trails, and uh, I'm gonna get covered in coffee. I'm ready. I gotta change the clothes, and uh, let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Here we go.
this test is all about. Are they testing waterproof of wheel? Are they testing how much coffee it holds? It's kind of open to interpretation, guys. It's like a piece of fine art, you know? Just take from it what you will. Uh, and just like that, coffee test complete. Uh, another coffee books in the coffee test in the books another coffee books in the test that was uh that was pretty darn good this thing is i didn't expect it to hold much coffee to be honest but much coffee to be left still more coffee got on the wheel than got on me i tilted it back we need to gen 3 it a little bit and figure out how to make more coffee fall onto me aside from that another resounding success for the coffee test on the Master Pro V2, I must say. And now, to the track! We're on the same track, same helmet, same helmet hair. We are uh, gonna test the speed of the Master Pro, let you know how it performs on the track. Um, you know what? It's surprisingly stable. This is the intro. <laughs> All right, he thinks he thinks my job is easy, man, but he doesn't know it's it's hard to be a flag boy. You gotta stay strong. You gotta bring enthusiasm. You can blow your shoulder out. A lot of bad things can happen, man. See, that's why you practice. Yes! Yes! It's not a track wheel, but I have to say it was quite surprising around the corners. I felt quite stable, even at speed. It just feels luggish because it's it's a heavy beast, 4600 watt hour battery. That's because this isn't quite the element of this wheel. This is the element. This is more like it. This wheel is made for touring. Go explore your city, go explore outside of your city. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't love riding this thing in the cities. Starting and stopping is just, it's a lot of effort. It's a heavy wheel. Every time you gotta get off for a stoplight, it's not that much fun to be starting over and over again, turning in and out of a city or dodging pedestrians or other cyclists. It's not very fun. So go explore your city, your state, your province, because this wheel is the wheel of all wheels to do it. There is really no better wheel to explore more than this thing right here. Well, I'm actually really curious how well this horse trailer is going to perform in our brake test. Let's go. Yeehaw! Like and subscribe. We'll take it. Not bad. Not bad, yeah. All right, okay, fuck. <laughs> My favorite part. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 14.5, okay. Not, not V13, the handle isn't just, it's not the same. The V13 handle is just way up there. Similar size, but you can crank it so hard. This one, it's just, oh, hefty, 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 but stable. Stable on a hard brake, which felt really good. Definitely more stable on braking than the Baton, for sure. <laughs> for me, for me. And I'm, I'm used to small, like smaller wheels than this, but stability, baby, I'm happy with it. Uh, yeah. Where do we go next? I don't remember. 
well. Pretty delighted, to be honest. This thing is not just on paper and just very clearly not meant to be a trail ripper. Um, so going through these trails on the way up and going up over Heat Hill or, or Cardiac Hill, whatever you want to call it, I was expecting less. You know what I mean? I was expecting worse performance. I knew, obviously, big motor, it's going to carry me up. But after the first pass, I was going really slow and I was feeling pretty confident. I had a couple of wobbly moments because it's very top heavy, but yet again, just like the goose test, just like the braking, just like riding it in general, I just felt planted pretty like, you know, on rails kind of feeling. It was good. It was quite good. I'm decently surprised. The temperature at a very slow clip, as slow as I can, granted also I'm heavier than Bradley. We started at, I think like 20 degrees Celsius and went up to 50 almost on the dot so a 30 degree increase it's a cool day it's actually heated up quite a bit but again very heavy wheel heavier rider than bradley riding very slow overall quite pleased quite pleased so mm. <laughs> it's been a long day we have to wait for nighttime to do the light test but here we go 8 45 p.m let's cheers Ooh. anyway they, they claim this is 10,000 lumens. Let's see. <laughs> let's, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Pro tip. Going. If you flip this lens around, okay. it'll actually make the light more concentrated uh. and brighter in a more concentrated spot. Just like that. Just like that. So simple. Light is flipped. And look at it. It's, uh, I mean, it's different. <laughs> Better? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, so they claim 10,000 lux at the source. It is 10,000 lux at the source. Let's see what it is on the wall. Uh, but it's a bagode wheel, so Lucas is going to have to do some heavy lifting oh to get Lord. this motor spinning. Lord have mercy. Lukey. Your son. 92. Get over 100. Yeah, we're looking at, it's bounced between 80 and 90. Ride the beeps! Uh, Ride the beeps! You're, you're good there, Lucas, you're good. Right, 78, okay. we're calling it 78 Lux. It's um, in the zone, man. It's, it's, it's not good. The spread, though, looks about uh, seven feet, so decent spread, but it's a pretty dim light overall. It, it does get a little brighter when you flip the, the light around. It's just not good enough a difference to really make, make a deal about it. Anyway, um, let's get to this next Oh, new test. Test here, Ooh. the new test. Oh, surprise, surprise. Surprise, here we go. I'm very excited to introduce to you. <laughs> oh my God. So we have our poke test, if you've seen our other videos, where we test the kickstand and the stability of them. Yes, mm -hmm. not science enough. Not science. The coffee test really, the coffee cradler showed us that scientific innovation knows no bounds. It's important. It's very important and thus we have decided to create a new innovation for the stability of a kickstand. We've called it the wrecking ball test, also known as the Miley test. That's correct. That is correct. <laughs> what we're going to do here is we're going to pull this wrecking ball, wrecking ball to certain heights, lengths. We're going to find the Let scientific go. fail point. Precisely. We will chart them all. We will test every wheel that has a kickstand and uh, science. Dude, I actually, I actually think we could blow this thing over. I, like team blow? Yeah, I mean, we could barely get it standing just delicately placing it here. I think we could blow it. Let's find out. Okay. Got some strong lungs. <laughs> Been running a lot. Let's go. Let's see. One, two, three. <gasps> oh, wait a touch. I touched it with my lips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Come hey, on. Wait, wait, will it pass the blow test? I don't know, Bradley. <laughs> let's, see. let's find out. <gasps> <laughs> oh, it's not even a kickstand, it's just a kick. It's, it's so bad. It failed the blow test, folks. Oh it's God. the worst kickstand on the market, I'm but uh, let's, let's go to our final thoughts. Final thoughts. Let's sit down on the couch, have a beer. Okay. All right, see you there. Final thoughts! Yeah! Let's go! Oh, Lord. All right, the range test, though. Always start to the range test with the range test. Mm -hmm. Thoughts? Range test day. <laughs> I go to take it out after charging it a couple days ago to 100%. I let it sit for three days because it was raining. And um, anyways, 
I go to take it out and it's only got 87% battery, meaning it drained, phantom drained, like 13% just sitting in, in our shop, which is disappointing. Uh, it turns out the new charge board does drain the battery over time. So if you want 100% battery, you're gonna have to make sure this thing is charged 100% before taking it out or get an old Bagode charge board and, and plug it in. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure why that is. I don't know if it's gonna continue draining past 30%, because if it is, you need to make sure you're constantly charging this thing because you don't want a battery sitting at 0%. Anyways, to the range test. Couldn't do it. I just haven't had the, had the time, because uh, every time I try to do one, the battery was uh, depleted and wasn't at 100% for various reasons. And I just, we have so many other videos to release, I can't delay this video anymore. So, I called up Albert who rides the Master Pro a lot and he was able to give me a pretty accurate idea of what kind of range you'd be looking at. He was able to ride with Doug, they're both riding Master Pros, all the way to Whistler from Vancouver on a single charge. They were able to get 60 kilometers and only lose 35% of the battery. So based on that, you're looking at, you know, if, if it was me who's significantly lighter than Albert, I'd be able to get about 100 and... 80, 200 kilometers per charge, um, especially in city. Like that seems very, very feasible. Uh, probably even more, and it's just going to depend how fast you're going. Those guys are flying like they, they, they like to test the top speed of these wheels, and they were able to go 60 and only lose 35 percent. 60 kilometers and only lose 35 percent battery. So, uh, and that was the range test. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So that was exhausting, obviously. I, can I, tell. I can rode tell. to Whistler once with the boys. Mm, the boys. It was kind of fun. But this thing is the one wheel you don't have to worry about uh, range anxiety. Like you could ride to Whistler on a single charge and make it in one trip yes. from Vancouver. For those of you who don't know, that's, I don't know, 150 kilometers or so, give or take 20, I can't remember. But uh, if you want, it takes 12 hours to charge this thing. So if you want to charge quicker, the best way to do that is with a second charger? Double those amps. Buying our fat boy, Oof. self promotion here. Ooh, link in uh, description. Our 10 amp <laughs> fast charger for 134 volt wheels. We don't really talk about water resistance except for in our teardowns. Mm. Uh, but mm. Goat's getting better. They added some gaskets in the controller. You're probably safe to be caught in the rain with this thing, but I wouldn't ride in the rain every single day. Um, and when it comes down to it, would I buy this wheel as, a, as me? As me. Would I do it? As a me? As me, or you. That's not fair, as a us, we get the wheel. We get all the wheels. As a us without EVs. I always say, if I could only own one wheel, mm. would this be it? Nar. And I wouldn't do Resounding it. Resounding nar. Unless I'm a guy that likes to tour around and go on long distance rides, but my feet can't handle it, they fall asleep. I ain't got time for that. No, I it's, not, that. it's not good. So, yeah. eh, it's, it's a good wheel though. For people that like to tour, it, it's like, you get the range with the suspension. That's it. And it's super fast and powerful. Uh, what's our uh, Alapso dude in, in <laughs> Alapso Mania? Oh, Looney Psycho, yeah. <laughs> that was like Alapso. Uh, Looney Psycho. A Looney Psycho, man. He likes Shout to, to tear on the, on the Monster Pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to like Great this wheel. Because he's going to be able to hit those 90 plus kilometer hour speeds. I think about too, like if empathizing with a different perspective. If I were a person who's just like, I just want those country roads to take me home, you know, just like the <laughs> longest rides possible. Yeah. This would be the wheel. It is the wheel. For the that. wheel by far. So like if you're that person, there's there's no competition. But if you want a good kickstand and, <laughs> <laughs> and not to go as far as possible and not have the heaviest wheel ever made currently, as of this date, April uh, 16th, uh, 15th, 2023, 2023 it might not be for you. I'll take the 2200 watt hour patent. Thank you very much. I'll take the S22 Pro, baby. That's it. I don't have much to say about it. It's good. It's good. It's, for good. A long, it's, it's, it's good. the most powerful, long range, biggest battery you could possibly buy. You can't get a bigger battery than this. Nobody makes a battery as big as this. <laughs> it's the biggest. <laughs> two, two videos in a row. It's the biggest battery. <laughs> I haven't practiced, but it's a, that's a great, that's a good finishing point. It's a good wheel. It's the best tourer. Yeah, the best. End. The best. End game. For all the nerds of those. I hope you heard my fart in that video. Did so <laughs> you just fart I tooted, on there? Yeah, I tooted for sure. I'm done. Let's just, I'm out of here. Oh, it stinks a little bit oh, too. Sorry. <laughs> oh. All day they haven't been smelling enough. Beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. Cherry blossom seasoning. Seasoning.
<laughs> All right, Master Pro V2 goose test. I mean, fuck. <laughs> Back time. <laughs> oh, Does it work when it's like that, or is that too quiet? I, I covered it. everything. That's it. That's it. Transition! What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know if we can use that. That might be a little much. <laughs> oh my god. But, word on the street is if you flip this guy around... I found this on the web. <laughs> <laughs> Siri, chill! <laughs> The fact that it can barely stand is ridiculous. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, so All right, see you, Master Pro. V2. Rest in peace. I've read you again. <laughs>